offer delectable confections and tasty treats, but only one candy shop was voted best of Minnesota. Natalie Nyes went all the way to Crookston, Minnesota for some sweet treats at Whitman's Candy Shop. Make sure you give that to the wife now. <laughs> George Whitman has been the confection king in Crookston, Minnesota for nearly 40 years. Do the people call him the candy man? Candy man. I've been called worse. <laughs> With every best of Minnesota story, we like the winners to acknowledge being voted the best on camera. We're the best, the best, best in Minnesota. But being typical Minnesotans, boasting proved to be difficult for George and Lois. Why did you throw that at me? I don't like to toot my own horn. In fact, it was downright hard. Oh, I don't like <laughs> calling myself a bitch. So we'll let the candy do the talking. Okay, okay let's go down the line. Here's a dark chipper for you. This is a chip or fritter, crunched up potato chips. Oh. Coconut heat stack. You're not slowing down. No, mint melt away. Chocolate covered Oreo cookie. No. Yeah. Can I try yeah. it now? Oh, oh yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 I can't yeah. Wait. Want a glass of milk? Uh huh. <laughs> the Whitman family represents four generations of candy makers. This is my grandparents' wedding picture in 1910. George H. Whitman opened the Crookston store in 1911, and not much has changed since his grandson yeah. took over. Yeah. Highest number on his five dollars. <laughs> Everything in here works. So when I came in here 37 years ago, you just, you don't change anything. You just keep doing it the way it was done. Including their famous candies and chocolates. This is the best product, the chocolate covered potato chip. Nowadays, a mom and pop candy store is a rarity because working with chocolate is a labor of love. It's hard work. I mean, we're making things from scratch, one by one. It takes time. George and Lois have held boxing and manning the counter, but that's it. I'm 68 years old, but my feet are about 125 years old. <laughs> are they really? Yeah. Because you don't become the best by chance. Thank you. But when it comes to the candy, candy making, making that's the two of us. It's the two of us. But the sweetest thing in this candy shop isn't for sale in the candy case. We'll hang in here until... <laughs> My business partner says she wants to retire. She will have, we'll have to quit. Because according to George, his beloved wife, Lois, is the reason they're the best. Well, you gotta have a good wife. Those Whitmans are good, humble Minnesotans. And even though there's no doubt in their customers' minds, good stuff. they reluctantly agreed to their new title. For Whitman's Candy Shop, the best in Minnesota. Thank you. Thank you.